all stuck in my head. That one and that one. <laughs> we just got some news. We got 10 minutes till we have to be at piano and then the dentist. Wash your hands. Brush real good, you're going to the dentist. Good morning, we are headed to the dentist this morning. Everybody has appointments to check on all those teeth. That's a tongue, <laughs> not a tooth. Let's make a guess. Who thinks they're gonna be cavity free? I have one tooth that's bothering me a little, but that one already got fixed. So hopefully it's all right. Any cavities? What is a cavity? Um, it's a little brown thing. Yeah, how do you get a cavity? From not brushing your teeth very well. Have you been brushing your teeth? Yeah, very well. Poor Janae fell asleep in the car and we had to wake her up. No, 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 don't wake me up. Today the kids are all having cleanings, x-rays, and fluoride treatments. Do you like coming to the dentist? Mm -hmm. Janae found the toy area. She's building stuff and knocking it over. Yeah. There you go, you wanna knock it over? Oh. <laughs> Did you knock it over? Isaac's super nice and came to play with her. He built a tall tower for you. First stop, toothbrushes. Laura, which ones do you see? Kill. These. This is Laura's first time getting x-rays. Is it all the way back in the chair for me? Is it so heavy? Do you know what they're gonna do? What? They're gonna take pictures. Yep, they're gonna take pictures of your teeth to make sure there's no cavities hiding in there. And this is a superhero suit that protects you. This is my big camera and it's gonna sit over here next to your cheek, okay? And all you have to do is stay just like that and open really big, okay? X-rays are cool. Mm -hmm. Are cool. This is Laura's bench. She's ready for it. I'm gonna watch. <laughs> You're gonna watch the show? That's the best part. I wish the dentists, when I was growing up, had TVs on the ceiling. They didn't. Yep, it's getting there. There's not very many teeth to take an x-ray of. Most of them are baby teeth. You keep losing them left and right. What flavor did you choose? Great. Do you think your teeth are gonna turn purple? No. Probably not. Which flavor did you choose? Yeah, Bubble gum. Okay, Kayla, which flavor did you choose? Cookie dough. The dentist office is awesome and has gluten-free toothpaste options for Kayla. My kids all love going to the dentist, do you? Janae was old enough to realize she did not have a balloon, and they're so nice and gave her a balloon. Did you get a balloon? Oh, she's so happy. They tied her balloon to a little toy so it doesn't float away. So the kids all got tokens for doing great at the dentist. At least chose erasers. Yeah, look. I got the one that I was wanting. Yes. No cavities, guys. How should we celebrate? Eating ice cream. <laughs> that will just give us cavities. I just put Janae down for a nap and it was beautiful. Like she laid her head on my shoulder and I sang her a song and I walked out of the room and she did great. And as I was walking away from the room, I realized something. So often I notice the negative things in my life. For example, with Janae's naps, I notice when she's hard to put down and when she won't take a nap and when she's grumpy and fussy and difficult. But do I notice and pay attention and feel gratitude for all the times that she does great. And I was just thinking about that. I'm struggling with some negativity in my life right now and I think I'm just putting my focus in the wrong spot. I see every time my kids misbehave or are rude to each other, but am I noticing all the times that they're nice to each other and they are obedient? Like I see all the messes and the things in my house that drive me crazy, but do I see all the places in my house that are organized and clean? I think to feel greater happiness in my life, I need to work on changing my focus. So I was grateful for that reminder as I walked away from Janae. Isaac has a new strategy with folding laundry. He times himself. So there's a timer going. I told him as long as it stays folded nicely, I'm down with this. You're almost at one minute. Mm -hmm. I am. Mm -hmm. 
So in one minute, he folded three pairs of shorts and three shirts. This kid loves competition. Uh, I don't know about that one. <laughs> Okay. Isaac folded his laundry in one minute and 53 seconds. Now, I am going to see what a hundred and... Are you gonna try to find the average? Uh -huh, I'm gonna see what 113 divided by 14 equals. It takes me eight seconds per item. Wow. It was because of the redo. Way to go, bud. Okay, I'm gonna try again. Wait, you're gonna fold your clothes again? You can just wait till tomorrow or fold somebody else's clothes. Isaac just volunteered to fold Caleb's clothes. I must be dreaming. Well, this game is definitely mom approved. Pajamas. <laughs> so what are we doing? We're organizing my room because sometimes I mix them up. Sometimes the shirts go in the pants drawer and we end up with a drawer that looks like this. Uh-huh. Okay, show me where do your pajamas go. There they go. Nice work. I've got them all stuck in my head now. So let's see, pop quiz. Where does your socks go? Boom, where do your shirts go? Nice, and look, they're all in piles. Which one's your long sleeve shirt pile? We still have more to do other than these two messes. That one and that one. <laughs> two more messes? Yeah. Do you think we can do it? For the most part, I try to let my kids manage their own drawers, but I do check on them regularly. That way we can keep learning about how we organize drawers. The most interesting item I found in Laura's sock drawer today was a fork. Do you keep forks in your sock drawer? Kids are funny. This is where Jeremy's been all day. You scared me. I thought everyone was like gone in the car. <laughs> it's been a long day making stuff. I've been actually spent all day going through your submissions for the month of maker stuff. They keep coming in and it's exciting. If there was anything that we would hope in you watching our videos is that you're inspired to create and make stuff. When I get back to it. We're doing math and grammar and spelling and all the things. When I'm back, I'm gonna be better at this. You're doing awesome. Elise is working on a spelling test. Number four, smell. And Elise is a doodler. There's always all sorts of drawings on her schoolwork. She likes to draw. What are you drawing today? Last time I drew that. Now I'm drawing a four, five layer cake. Nice. Number five, well. Somebody took such a good nap. Oh, she's so happy. <laughs> she's so happy. She's so confused about why the frog's connected to the balloon. I love her just woke up, still a little out of it face. She's so happy. I mean, who's not happy after a three hour nap and you have a balloon? She is living the life. What you doing? Headstand. How long have you been going? We're at four minutes now. So Caleb has been doing a headstand for over four minutes. Is your brain okay? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Legs are gonna fall asleep soon. You have to have blood flow to all of your body. So because of a crazy scheduling thing, I had to edit three videos in the last like 15 to 16 hours. My brain is like mush. It's it. It's not an easy thing to do. He can no longer speak. Yeah. <laughs> I want to watch a movie where I'm not making it. I want to just veg. So we've been starting to do some gluten-free stuff with Caleb over the last two or three days, but this is officially the end. This is what he chose for his last supper that has gluten in it. And from tomorrow on, we're gonna be gluten free for him. So he chose pesto pasta, chicken nuggets, his favorite Hawaiian rolls, strawberries and carrots. Ta-da! That place has a really good- What are we playing? Um, I don't know what it's called, but- I, I know! Two ball. Two ball. No. Two ball. Two valley. And it is littering of their Hufflepuff. Okay, Hufflepuff goes first. Now we have Hufflepuff. We just got some news from the doctor's office about the lab test. And this guy 
does not have celiac disease. Yay! It's weird that they didn't have everybody else's results. Right? We took the blood at the exact same time and they only have Isaac's results, not Elise or Laura's. Bummer. Stay Mine tuned. must have been easiest. So our little car's brakes were making some crazy noises. We came to drop it off. It's gonna get worked on tomorrow. Caleb and I are ending off the night snuggling and talking about his feelings. I was really proud of him because he came to me and said, Mom, I'm having some big feelings. We're talking about how he doesn't want to have celiac disease and about things that he's sad about. You know, celiac disease isn't going to be easy, uh. but I know this guy can do it. <laughs> and we're gonna help him through it. Good night, mm -hmm. Jay House out. Hey, my name is Oscar, I'm from Australia, and I made myself a professional actor. I was in the Sound of Music National Tour. I'm Maddie from New Braunfels, Texas, and I sew and sell these headbands. You already bought a ticket and there's no turning back now. Hey, I made a on a roll this year. All A's this year. I'm Oliver. I draw this Pokemon ball with Catch of Pikachu. Jay helps out. Oh no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>